Hey guys, Targo Cycling FPV again. Now we are going to do uh, part six. And I know we just finished the receiver side and now we're going to go to the VTX side. And I already kind of discussed this. So going back to that now, let me go ahead and open the screen up here and show you what, what we're doing. So let's do this right there. There we go. Okay. So as I discussed, we did the receiver side and we're probably going to lean this over here. And now we've got our VTX, right? And so we know on the VTX, uh, if we look at the um, if we look at the way the screening, the subscreen is done, the 7 to 26 volts is going to be the farthest one. The ground is going to be second. And then the uh, 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 smart audio is going to be a third. Then we're going to skip the two outputs here and we're going to go to the fifth, uh, sorry, uh, the sixth, which is going to be the video or VTX connection, okay, uh, that goes to the flight controller. So let me show you where we got here. So if we know the if we know it's going to sit like this, the first thing I want to do is I want to get this uh, smart audio out of the way, get it soldered and closed up, right? So I would recommend the way we're going to do this is we're going to lean the VTX like this, and we're going to bring the wire over. So just kind of stick it onto those screw areas right there. Bring the wire over and measure the distance you need, which is going to be pretty much like that. And then from there, just go ahead and cut it. Okay, strip the wire. Twist it. Let's tin it. So by putting the flux paste on there, let's tin it. And here we go. Okay. Let's do that. All right. That being done, we're just going to go ahead now and very quickly and very easily just put this on pad three over here and it's done. Okay. That's it. We now have our smart audio in place, so now the only thing we really have to worry about is just getting this VTX mounted before we do the rest of the wiring and how much space we have left to do that with. So we're really limited on space here. Um, I'm not sure, I guess I should have had a better plan here, but because we're limited on space, I've got to figure out how I'm going to make this work. First thing is get our wires in place. I want everything all twisted, so let's put the RX right there. And then let's see how much space we have left. Okay, so we are talking about very minimal, very minimal. Um, I'm afraid that we really don't have any space left, period. So at this point, I will now use the mounting um, hardware that came with this setup. Because that, for the VTX, I do not mind. Uh, I just have to find it. And I put it down, and then, oh, you know what? Did I put it in here? Yeah. So I put it in here. So the first thing I want to see is, is this mounting hardware going to fit? Um, over this because that's a pretty long gap there for the screw and it's going to be shy by about two millimeters that sucks so even if I make it fit once I put the VTX I'll still clear the top of the frame barely um, that's a shame though because uh, that's almost a waste of space let me see if I have an option here um, Well, I might, if I can see, let me see, how much space is left? Nope, that won't work. How much do I need? If I could make that fit. So really, I need about three millimeter gap, and I think I have it, so let me see real quickly. Um, in my box here, I have, I think, three millimeter spacers, one, to, let's see if these work. Three, four. This works for in good shape, okay? So we're gonna put one. Uh, I don't know why that one's there. Two. Three. And then let me grab one more. This is the wrong size. And a four. Okay. There we go. And then what will happen is this will fit like that, which should hopefully give us enough room, and it does. I think it's going to, as long as I can get this receiver wiring tucked away. Uh, let me just make sure. If I can tuck that away like that, then this will fit and I can use a uh, a nylon fastener to keep this down. So perfect. So we've got enough space without having to do anything else. So let's go ahead now and what we're going to do is we're going to solder the wires for the VTX. So video is going to go to the TX and so forth. So here it goes. Right? 
So let's take the yellow. We're going to go to the TX here. Uh, let me just make sure we got enough tin on there. So we do. Okay. Clean off some of this. Gonna go to the ground right here. All right, we'll clean off the next wire, which is the positive on the five volt. I'm sorry, this is a VBAT. Actually, where this is going is going to be directly to the battery because it can handle that. Perfect. Okay. And then we might as well go ahead now and finish the um, camera wiring, which is right here. So let's go ahead and attach that the same way. Now, this one is just going to go straight out because the camera is going to be over here anyway. So let's go ahead and get ground. Okay, so we've got ground on the outside here. We've got the camera in the middle. Let me separate these wires and make sure they're tinned. They are. Camera in the middle right here. And then we've got our five volt for the camera right here. And we're done. And look at that. Before you know it, everything's finished and it looks good. Now I'm going to go ahead and secure some of my wiring with some glue because I like to make sure that it's gonna last a long time, especially with the elements. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then like I told you, you can hit this with um, hot air, like an air gun, or heat gun I mean, sorry. And it'll just kind of melt the glue around the area and fit it into crevices and make sure that it's really, really well done for the setup, okay? So there we go. Now, that being said, we have this done. So now we can go ahead and close up the system by putting in the VTX properly. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna fold the wires in. And as long as we have enough room, this should fit. Oh, watch the, watch the VT or the uh, smart audio. There we go. Now there's a lot of excess wire underneath this board so it's going to be a little bit of a issue to press it in there but not that's going to come out very nice so let's go ahead and do that and then what we're going to do is we're just going to put our fasteners on and we should be able to close this up just like that let me get this there goes one and i'll come around and do the other side two My little fat sausage fingers sometimes have a hard time getting this part here, but just bear with me. I will get it eventually. There we go. Okay. And then we can finish the other two. So let's do a three right here. Oops. These are nylon. Um, I mean, they're not the strongest things to fasten with, but I'm gonna show you that even with these, when I'm done, I will put a piece of glue on each one just to make sure it doesn't unscrew, all right? I mean, it's just like, just say an extra level of precaution. I don't see a problem with it. So let's see what we can do here, okay? Let's fasten that down. All right, now. I'm not gonna do it just yet because I don't know if everything's hooked up properly yet. I wanna do a test first, right? But before that, we need to finish by mounting our camera now and uh, making sure that everything is ready to go. So let's get our frame ready to put back together and make sure everything is, there we go, that's ready to go. Now let's find our camera, which is right here. Fit that in appropriately, just like that. Yeah, that looks good. This is gonna be a nice setup. And now let's get some screws 
and screw this camera down and call it a day. So I'm gonna take one from here. Okay, then I'm gonna take another one here that should be right here somewhere. Oops. Take this one. There we go. Okay. So now we've got that set in place. So now we can just get ready to, as you can see, we've got the pattern is five volt ground and video. So that's basically uh, red, black, and yellow. Uh, and this is not, <laughs> hold on, I gotta make sure I plug this in properly because this is not the right pattern uh, to make it fit the way I want. So let me just make sure first. Okay, these fit, but it's reversed. So let's, uh, ground is right, but the red in the video is wrong. So five ground video. So what I'm gonna do is very carefully, I'm gonna open these pins very carefully, hopefully carefully enough not to break them. And I'm gonna pull out the yellow wire and I'm gonna do the same with the red wire. Okay. And when the red wire comes out, if it comes out, There go, my dog's going crazy. There we go. Uh, that's gonna be a problem. Wonderful, so that caused a small issue um, and that is not going to be helpful now. Uh, you know what, it was this one, wasn't it? Yep, it was this one. I had picked the wrong set of wires. Well, I said we don't cut corners and we're not going to. So very quickly, we're gonna open this up and we are going to fix it. I do not want to cut corners on a quad that I take pride in building. So let me go ahead and just pop these off real quick. Sorry guys, it'll take two seconds, but this is what happens. All right, let me get these uh, out of here. Okay, I'm gonna remove the VTX real quickly, just enough so I can get to those wires, and we're gonna take these off, all right? And we're just gonna go black, yellow, red. Let's get these off. All right, and this is what this is the wire I should have used. I thought I had picked the right one, but I picked the wrong one. So now let me go ahead. Right. Let's put this in here. Get that out. Let's find me something to solder against right there. All right, so I'm gonna pin this back up. All right, and now we will cut these to make them the right length. And our little repair is done. So let's just cut these off real quickly. One, two, and three. All right, so now let's get back here. Get this lined up, twist these wires together. Okay. And again, ground goes on the outside. Put ground on the outside. Over here. Video will go in the center here, and then five volt will go right here. So let me put video next. And then let me put five volt right here. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Go ahead and tap that again with some hot glue just to make sure it's secured. There it goes. And we're gonna go ahead and put the PTX back down now. Okay, so let me do that here and here. 
and we should be good to go. Let's see. Yep, everything is clear and clean, and I have a rubber band for somewhere. I don't know how I got there, but let me get that out of here. All right, so now we're gonna fasten it down again and put our fasteners on and get ready to call it a day. Okay, so that's the VTX. If I can get these things to stay on. Okay. And then the last one, which will go here, and I just need to find it because they've all kind of rolled away. Let me see where I put. Uh, let's grab this one. There we go. getting away from me bear with me it is a very tight fit with these so I'm trying to get them on but there's really not much thread left so let me see if I can all right there we go well I thought that was it let me try this again <laughs> this last one's a pain I tell you what, I'll give it one more shot, and if not, I'll, uh, I'll grab another fastener. Hmm. And there we go. All right, so we got all four on there. Everything looks good. Everything is mounted properly. Now let's get the camera in place like we were doing prior to this little issue. I'll plug right in. Like so. All right, perfect. And then this would sit just like this. And we know the receiver is going to go right here. So we're going to put the receiver. I would probably say more like this. Okay. So let me do that. Uh, and how do I want to do that? Let me see. I think what I'll do is I'll lean it up here, just like this. And now let me, great, this thing is, the wires are all twisted on the, on the, on the, on the wall here, but that's okay. Let me place this just like that. there. Nope, that's exactly what I wanted to see. So that looks good there. All the wires are set in place. And so now what we got to do is get, we'll put heat shrink on the, um, Obviously, we'll put heat shrink on the receiver, on the antennas of the receiver, but let's get everything else done first. So let's put this through here. There we go. And let's get our frame lined up to be screwed back down. Part of that means that we need to get these motor wires out of the way of the uh, camera mount. 
to just lift them up a little bit so that it doesn't get stepped on by the carbon fiber camera mount. Then it'll find a place to go back down just a little bit. So on both sides, just lift it up, right? And let the camera mount go past it. Then it'll come to rest on the carbon fiber of the camera mount uh, when, it's, when, it, when we're done. Just line everything up. And then when you're confident that you've lined it up, just go ahead and put your first set screw in. So we'll start right here. And we'll put our second set screw in here. Okay. And then what we want to do is make sure the rest of these line up properly. And it looks like they're going to line up just fine. Just make sure that we've got everything in order. Yep. There we go. And now with that in there, we can put in our bottom set screw for the front and pull that back down like we did before. And I'm, not, I'm gonna not tighten it all the way yet until I get the other sides done. So let me go over here. That side's done. Now let's pull this side down. Yeah, that's gonna look nice, man. Okay, now let's do, make sure everything clears here, okay? So the big thing is to make sure we have clear all the obstacles and we have. Let's put that down there. And let's put this down here. Perfect. All right, and that looks good and that looks good. So we have two more set screws left is fine. So making sure going back over all of them, this one's good, this one's good, that's good, that's good. All right, and now we just want to come from the top, make sure they're tight. And you can see all this glue string here, which we're going to show you how to get rid of. We've got two set screws to put on the top. So I'm going to put a longer screw on this one because some of these threads need to be a little bit longer. Let me grab a 10 millimeter again like I did before. I'll just come from the top here. Put that one and hopefully get a good grip on that. And it looks like we did just fine. All right. So now let's clean it up. Okay. With all that done, we still have to put our receiver and get, I mean, get, get our receiver antennas up and then clean this up a little bit. Make sure it's presentable, make sure it makes sense, and make sure there's no issues with the wiring. So I'm gonna start cleaning up some of the wiring here, uh, making sure that it is not out to be clipped during a wreck, or a bad landing, or... Okay, there we go, there we go. That looks really good. That's set, so now, Let's get, see where we can fit these zip ties. I'm not sure how much room I'm gonna have with these, but I'm hoping, I'm very hopeful. Uh, well, I'm hopeful, but I'm not sure I'm gonna have the room for it, so. You know what, maybe I go this way. 
if I did that? That may not be a bad idea. No, the battery's gonna go there, hold on. What if I did it like this then? Now all I need to do is feed this, feed the receiver wire up here, and we'll do that like so. All right, there we go. And now we need to get. Um, let's see. What do I want to use here? Since this pretty much this has been a blue build, let's see how much blue we can do on this. And I think it's going to, whoops, no, I don't want that wire to move. So let's see if I can hold it in place. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. I'm going to do the same over here. Now what we want to do is we want to get them about 90 degrees apart. So we're going to do that by heating up the heat shrink, right? And then starting with the outside, basically I guess how you would call it the outside or inside, whatever, maybe this side, right? In the center area where they're two facing each other. And then go to this side here. And what's going to happen is as you do that, it's going to start bending the opposite direction like you see here, right? But once you get it all heat trunk and everything's good check this out so now I'm going to take it and I'm going to hold it like this this is how I want it right so I'm going to focus in this area right here okay and as soon as I get it to the angle I want I'm going to hit it with some air see how it holds and now I'm going to do the other side get it to the angle I want okay when it's there, put it with some air, and look at that. Okay, now, I mean, we can keep shaping it if we want, but for the most part, uh, we've got our antennas on, we've got our VTX antenna ready to go, we've got a receiver ready to go, we've got a capacitor in, we've got everything good to go. So, what I'm going to do next is just a few little things to help clean up, is if you look at the bottom here, you're going to see some glue, so just little scragglers of glue, glue strings. The best way to get rid of glue strings is to heat them up. Uh, they almost become clear and disappear. Okay, and then make sure everything else is clean. All right, and now, and now we have one last thing. So let me go ahead now and end the video here. So that's almost 30 minute video. Okay, so recapping now, we are almost done. Looks really awesome. I'm really proud of this build. Um, I think the design, the colors, everything, I, I just like it. I'm one of those guys that, you know, like to me, if I look at it, it almost looks mirrored right down the center. And uh, that's what I like to see, except for the capacitor right here. Everything's almost identical. And I would bet weight-wise, by the time I'm done, if I was to sit this, I don't know, it'd be neat to kind of try, I guess. So let's see. Um, let's see what happens. So I'm betting now, and I could be wrong, because I haven't, haven't had time to check yet. But if I can find this, I'm hoping that I'm right. So hold on. I'm going to try to find the center of the plate here, right? But I'm also, <laughs> I'm kind of at a disadvantage. So bear with me a second. Let's see if I can do this real quickly. I don't want to waste anybody's time. But I also like to demonstrate certain things if I can do it. I'm crossing my fingers because it's screwing up my video if I'm wrong. Ah, I got the shakes. Come on. I'm going to regret doing this. 
this now. <sighs> Hold on. Doesn't help when I'm shaking. But I'm determined to find out how well it is weighted, knowing the camera's in the back, or in the front, but I have a receiver in the back, antennas in the back. There you go. So, if you could see, on the bottom of this frame are four screws. Um, I don't know how to show you this, but on the bottom of the frame there are four screws, okay? And those four screws uh, go around, uh, let me see if I can find the original frame. Hopefully this thing doesn't fall while I'm trying to do this, okay? And then you can see where my... Um, what my goal is with this one. Okay, so here's the, here's a frame. Let me peel the sticker back and you're gonna see something. Okay, so as you can see here, you have four screws, right? Now this is obviously inverted, but you have the four screws. The goal is to be able to put a the, the, the tip, this is the fine tip now. So this is for an M2 screw hex, hex screw, right? Not an M3, so it's much smaller. Uh, the goal is to be able to put that in the center of the frame and hopefully it balances, okay? Now it took me a little while to get there, but the point being is, is it's exactly what happened. So I'm going to take a picture of this. Hopefully, be able to show you guys before I knock it over. So let me see how I can do this properly. So if you can see that, I think you can see it. Let's see if that works. Okay. So if you look at this picture, right? Um, <laughs> Whoops, well, I just knocked it down. If you look right here, and let me see if I can do this. I know, again, I'm just, I'm not trying to waste your time, but if you can, uh, it's too much of a glare. Well, I'll try to zoom in. You see that right there? That's in the center of those four, and that is a tiny tip, right? So my point being is, is it's balanced. That's what tells me if I like a frame or not, and I'll post this picture up uh, later on. Um, I don't think it's going to help if you even try to see it this way, so I won't waste any more of your time. But point being is, is it's centered very well, it's weighted very well, um, and, and the center point uh, was between these four screws uh, right here. So somewhere in there with this fine tip, uh, it was able to balance. So I'm, ha I'm happy with that, okay? Um, all right, so I've wasted enough of your time. It's 32 minutes into this video, and it should have probably only been about 20. I apologize. Um, got a little carried away with that. But I think you should be proud of this. Uh, if you're building this one and it comes out looking like this or even better than mine, uh, congratulations to you. Uh, the last thing we have to do now, and it'll be coming back to this, would be the last part, is we're going to put the XT30 connection right here, and then we're going to go program this in Betaflight, okay? So until then, let me get rid of that. Until then, if you have any questions, hit me up at targetcyclonfbb.com. By all means, please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. And other than that, guys, as always, God bless, fly safe, and spend time with your family. You don't know how much longer you have with them, so make the most of your time. You can fly drones later, okay? Talk to you later, guys. Peace.